This is news on Good News Catholic Communications. I am Betty and Lazarus. In the headlines, Bishop Clyde Martin Harvey says Grenada stands to benefit from a healthy democratic process in congratulating the newly elected leader of the NDC. A nine-member synod committee appointed to spearhead synodal process for the diocese. Keeping fruit, trees and flowers well pruned will keep the blight away, says senior agriculturists. Details to these and more when we return. Republic Bank remains committed to providing all its valued customers with high quality and personalized service in a safe and comfortable environment. In order to maintain COVID-19 protocols while serving you, it has become necessary to arrange an appointment with your relationship officer or the customer service representative at your branch for the following products and services. Loans, overdrafts, credit cards, new accounts to include savings, checking, certificate of deposit and foreign currency, reactivation of dormant accounts and private banking for existing customers only. You may also log on to our website, complete the application form for the service required and submit via email to your specific branch. Requests for appointment can also be emailed to customer service at republicgrenada.com or via private message on our Facebook page. For private banking service, kindly contact your specific branch via telephone. We look forward to welcoming you. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Welcome back. Bishop Clyde Martin Harvey has described the election of Deacon Mitchell as the new leader for the National Democratic Congress as an indication that the party is ready to move on and calls on every elected member to offer the new leader their fullest support. So it's important for Grenada that we have two viable parties, maybe more than two, and that is what all can celebrate at this moment, whichever party you belong to. Uh, the country can only benefit from a healthy contest in which the future of Grenada is debated, discussed, and ultimately the people of Grenada decide. So I think we can all thank God that we've moved past this stage, but we have to be very careful because the people of the Caribbean are known for crucifying those whom they love on Palm Sunday. In extending congratulations to the newly elected leader of the NDC, Bishop Harvey warns that the task ahead won't be an easy one. It has elected a new leader and I can only offer my congratulations on winning the election. Although whenever I see somebody put in such a position, I always say my congratulations and accept my sympathy because it's going to be a hard task. To lead a party now, to be elected to lead a party so close to an election, that is difficult. And to some extent, unless the party really comes together, it's unfair to any one man to expect him to all of a sudden ride on a huge white charger, God knows where. Bishop Harvey, who is into his fourth year as Bishop of the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada, extended best wishes and prayers to the various parties in the upcoming general elections, whenever that date is announced. As they go forward to whenever the next election is, that it will be a well-fought, honestly fought, a battle that will really bring out the best in Grenada. May God bless our nation now and always. A nine-member synod committee has been appointed by Bishop Clyde Martin Harvey for the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada for the two-year synodal process the church is now embracing. The synodal process will be guided by the theme for a synodal church, communion, 
participation and mission and will conclude in October 2023 with the celebration of the 16th Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops followed by the implementation stage. The Committee for the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada comprises Father Michael Opuku, Sister Roxanne Nichols, Henvo Simeon, Ray Thomas, Adriana Strong, Terence Logan, Josian John, and Amory Palmer and Caris Degans. The committee is charged with the responsibility to guide and organize the participation of the diocese in the synodal process, which Pope Francis has initiated. We extend congratulations to the committee for accepting the challenge from Bishop Harvey, and we encourage every Catholic to be a part of the new process. Bishop Clyde Harvey has issued a clarion call to residents of the Tri-Island State of Grenada to cooperate fully with the national census soon to be undertaken by the Statistical Department of the Ministry of Finance. Every 10 years in every nation on the face of the earth, they're not interested in your business. They want to know what is the truth of our life on this earth, on this planet. We want to know who needs help? Who really needs help? And we also want to know who are those who are succeeding in a country like ours? Who are those who are making it? Why do you have to hide that? You don't want to hide that. That's something that you would like to be able to say to other people, yes, I have fought the good fight and I'm still fighting it and I have nothing to fear. So when Mr. Census, or is it Miss Census, Madam Census, comes and knocks on your door, just to realize they're doing a service to the country and to the world. Grenada is a small country, but if we didn't know how many people are living in it, we wouldn't know what to do about COVID. We wouldn't be able to make an accurate assessment of the COVID situation. If we didn't know how many children we have to educate, we wouldn't be able to improve our schools. If we didn't know where is more populated, we wouldn't know where to put our schools, even where to put something like a police station. Bishop Harvey appealed for a sense of reasoning, labeling the process as the only true way to garner national data. So it's important to get the numbers right. And that's something I want you to think about. A census is about getting the numbers right. Making sure that you are counted because you count. You are counted because Grenada wants to believe that each and every one of us count. Wherever we are, where, however we're living, whatever struggles we have to face, and the question of how much money you make and all those kinds of things, how many children in your family, that says something about the kind of challenges you face. So let's cooperate with the census man, the census woman. Don't make it too hard for them. Just, just in five minutes you can give them all the information they need, and that information will be for the benefit of all of us. Still to come, Pruning of trees critical to alleviating the spread of the sooty mold, commonly referred to as blight, and Dr. Ronald Brunton joins Tam C.C. as the new principal. Welcome back. A local agriculturist is encouraging flower growers and backyard farmers to keep surrounding trees well pruned, which will allow sufficient sunlight as key preventative measure in keeping out the sooty mold, commonly referred to as blight. Grenada has been recently blanketed by the spread of the very unwelcomed condition. Along with combative measures undertaken by the Ministry of Agriculture, an appeal has been made for persons to control black ants, 
prune frequently and to apply golden pest spray oil manufactured from soya bean. An alternative strategy offered is the use of diluted dishwashing liquid. According to a senior agricultural official, the so-called blight thrives through a relationship with black ants, overgrown trees, and aphids, which secretes a sugary substance. The official is advising householders and farmers to allow maximum sunlight through pruning, which will in turn discourage ants, keep their fields hygienic, which in turn will reduce the spread of the blight to surrounding areas. Removal of dry as well as burning infected pruned branches are key strategies in the control process. Some song advice there, let's do our part. While we move on to another bit of interesting development, Dr. Ronald Brunton has recently joined the TA Marshall Community College as principal and looks towards building upon a tradition of development and skills training. Prior to joining TAM Sissi, Dr. Brunton served as academic director at the University School of Business and Applied Studies in Trinidad and Tobago. His passion for student success has guided a focus on curriculum, innovation to ensure that students pursue programs of study that are relevant, in demand, and student-centered. We welcome Dr. Bronton to Grenada and look forward to his impact within the Tri-Islands Lone Tertiary Institution. That's it for the major developments, a recap of the headlines when we return. <music> Republic Bank remains committed to providing all its valued customers with high quality and personalized service in a safe and comfortable environment. In order to maintain COVID-19 protocols while serving you, it has become necessary to arrange an appointment with your relationship officer or the customer service representative at your branch for the following products and services. Loans, overdrafts, credit cards, New accounts to include savings, checking, certificate of deposit, and foreign currency. Reactivation of dormant accounts and private banking for existing customers only. You may also log on to our website, complete the application form for the service required, and submit via email to your specific branch. Requests for appointment can also be emailed to customerservice at republicgrenada.com or via private message on our Facebook page. For private banking service, kindly contact your specific branch via telephone. We look forward to welcoming you. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Welcome back and now for a recap of the headlines. Bishop Clyde Martin Harvey says Grenada stands to benefit from a healthy democratic process in congratulating the newly elected leader of the NDC. A nine-member Synod committee appointed to spearhead synodal process for the Diocese of St. George's in Grenada. Keeping fruit, trees and flowers well pruned will keep the so-called blight away, says senior agriculturists. On behalf of all those who made this newscast possible, I'm Betty and Lazarus. Thanks for staying with us. <music>